Joe and Paul have done a fabulous job of, of running season five. As an executive producer, I thought I would contribute in some way by uh, writing an episode and directing one. I pitched this episode back in the fall, basically saying, what if we were to do something that was a complete departure, an alternate reality in which Shepard was a homicide detective on the trail of a serial killer that he didn't realize was a wraith. And then we started spinning the idea of shooting in Las Vegas. Nice hand, huh? Got me again. It's almost like you could read minds, huh? Only yours. It is entirely in an alternate reality in which Shepard has a slightly different backstory than the Shepard that we know. In some ways it's about how one tiny little change in your life, uh, some event, can completely swing your whole existence off in another direction. I know you'll probably think this sounds ridiculous, but uh, a little while ago we accidentally opened a rift in space-time, went through to an alternate version of reality. It's very similar to ours in many ways. I met a team, much like the one I work with, only you were the leader. You were a hero. Saved the world several times over. So much like me. I don't think there's much difference between you and that other John Shepard I met. It's amazing how one incident can entirely alter the course of your life. I know Joe Flanagan was really excited about the opportunity to play a character that was essentially John Shepard, but a slightly different version of him. What is it? A darker version. It's a crime scene, get lost. Joe and I talked about this a lot before we started shooting, that this John Shepard would not be quite as lighthearted. He wouldn't always have the snappy, funny comeback. He's carrying a little more baggage around with him. I know everything about you. You've never been married. The only thing you own is a car. You have $2,363 in the bank and a $13,000 in debt, not counting off the books gambling losses to a guy named Mikey. Because it's an alternate reality, he doesn't have to be quite as much of a shiny hero. Aren't you a little out of your league here? Who are you, my mother? Go ahead, call Annie. He's got more flaws and he can make some darker choices. He's on the trail of what he thinks is a serial killer. And it turns out that that serial killer is a wraith who has escaped there was an attack on Earth in this reality in which the people working for the Stargate program defeated that hive. And this wraith is kind of a straggler who got away and has been hiding on Earth. And the, the kind of interesting thing about him is that he's learned as much as he can about Earth and, and Earth customs. And he's using prosthetic makeup to hide himself and appear as though he's human. Although he does realize that, that he's not going to do a perfect job. And so he kind of chooses to be a somewhat alternative looking person and yet you know blends in really well in Las Vegas. The end contains obviously an essential piece of information that leads into episode 20 which is you know episode 100 and season finale. So that piece of information and the way the story plays out will really open up the next episode. It's about how the Wraith come to learn the location of Earth. Stargate Atlantis with all new episodes. Watch in real time Fridays at 9, 8 central on Sci-Fi.